Hi, welcome to the last episode of the Gunwriter TV for the year 2015. Whew, I thought I was fired. <laughs> no, man, you're not. And we're here, we have a very special year in where we're going to count down the top 10 stories. But uh, we have a special guest who's got to talk about a very special shoot. John Barnott, good friend, shooting buddy. Glad to have you here, brother. Um, I had to actually get a business card from you to find out what your title is. I just know you as the building, building czar in Manatee County. Uh, you are the director of the Building and Development Services in Manatee County. That's correct. Mike. You have totally reworked that department and uh, you actually got it in the black. Yeah, we do. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of good people that have made it happen. And some pretty good director, too. Um, there. You know, it's, uh, they, they care about the customer. And sure. They understand the value of customer service, just like I'm sure Mike does in his, his oh, organization, his thing. operation. But today you're here just as... Lee's shooting buddy, and you're going to speak on behalf of a, a really incredible shoot, the Roger Sparky Hill Family Fun Shoot. Tell me about this, John. This was your idea. Yeah. Um, a couple of years ago, Robin Eline, Gene Henshaw, and myself were shooting in the Roger Hill shoot that was put on by the gun club. And after the shoot, the three of us were sitting there, and we're looking around, and nobody there knew who Roger Hill was. Mm. And I refer to him as Mr. Hill. A lot of people call him Roger. Rex Sparky, calls him Mr. Hill. Called him Mr. Hill. I always called him Mr. Hill. So we decided right then and there, you know, we're going to put on our own family fun shoot. Where And, and our goal was to have Roger's family come out, mm -hmm. have the cowboys off the ranch come out that, that all worked for, for Mr. Hill at, at one time or another. Because he was the ranch manager mm -hmm. at Schroeder Manatee Ranch also known as Lakewood Ranch. And even today, that's still a working ranch. People don't realize that. And you can see Mr. Hill's fingerprints on everything out there, especially the ancient old gun club. Wouldn't have a gun club, would it not, was it not be for Mr. Hill? That's exactly right. He went to Rex Jensen, the CEO of, of SMR, and said, you know, I want to build an amenity something other than a golf course or a swimming pool or a polo. He said, Let, let's build something for the outdoorsman. So Rex said, okay, well, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to build a gun club, mm -hmm. a sporting place club. So they picked out 70, 80 acres on the edge of the ranch and said, okay, this is where it's going to be. There's a huge oak there, henceforth ancient oak gun oak. club. We only got one oak, Mike. Yeah, right? well, that'd be good because I've never shot clays before, and I might, I wouldn't want to hit that one oak. Exactly, you know, you know and and I had never shot clays before either. Ever since I was a young guy, uh, my dad always took me hunting, bird hunting, rabbit hunting, whatever, but I'd never shot clays until we opened this, uh, and it it it's really been nice to have this. So anyway, we decided we're going to have a Sparky Hill shoot. And the name Sparky, I think Robin Eline gave Mr. Hill that name because it, there are lots of funny stories you can talk about. When you have a ranch that's about 38,000 acres, Jeez. you have to manage this thing. And, and, and Mr. Hill would manage it for wildlife growth and, and things like that. He would do control burns every now and then. Okay. Every now Sparky. and then. <laughs> they would they would get out of control. Oops. Whoopsie. <laughs> I don't know what they ever did with his pickup truck that he burned up. Oh no. <laughs> the wind shifted, it came back, caught his truck on fire, oh, his own it personal to the truck. Hey, his, his company truck there. Yeah. Oh good gosh. So henceforth the name Sparky. <laughs> but on February the thirteenth in twenty sixteen, we're having a family fun shoot. Now last year we had about 46 sponsors, 152 shooters. And those 152 shooters, they all knew Mr. Hill. And they had an association with him. And we were able to have 35 to 40 of his family members there, mm. his, his, his wife, uh, the girls. It was a special time. Grandkids, I mean it was just, it was really nice to have them there. This year we've decided to open it up. We thought about, okay, we're just going to have it for friends of Mr. Hill, but, you know, in talking to you, 
we decided let, let's open this thing up a little bit yeah. because what we want to do number one is honor him as, as, as the man the friend the colleague and sportsman tremendous legacy he was a modern day John Wayne yeah he was a cowboy mm -hmm. and you know sponsorships are available for 300 bucks anybody that wants to be a sponsor uh, please contact me uh, I think Lee's going to have this on his website, yep. the information about that, or you can contact the Ancient Oak Gun Club. Um, we're going to troll it to 256 shooters this year. And each one? And every year we, we like to give a little memento of this. So this year we're giving everybody a lock blade knife, uh, and it's inscribed with the Roger Hill Fun Shoot. And so every shooter will get one of these. Uh, it'll be a hundred bird shoot. Uh, Jason McKendry, one of the cowboys, the ranch uh, cattle manager for SMR, has a cooking team. So he and Stevie John, the citrus manager, they're going to cook. We're going to have cowboy cookout. Oh, the shoot. food last year you was fantastic. You know that's going to be good. I know. Oh, last yeah. year the food was Mike, incredible. You know one thing I'd like to do, I want to invite you up and, and, and bring some of your goods, if you would. Thank you. And let's uh, set up a, a table or an area where people get to know you. That'd be great. Uh, get to know your operation and, and your business. So let's do that. I appreciate that. And, you you uh, left out the cost, which is incredibly reasonable. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm used to paying yeah. 100, 150 bucks for Usually these things. The team oh, yeah. price yeah. each. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We, and, and we keep it low like that because we want everybody to be able to afford mm -hmm. to come and shoot. Mm -hmm. So it's 50 bucks, which is nothing per person. Two hundred dollars per team, and the proceeds go to two incredible, three incredible causes, or two. We have this is a kind of loose organization. We have no overhead, no cost, <laughs> no full-time employees. Every penny goes to 4-H and FFA in oh, Antique man, County, yeah, which exactly. is what Roger was all about. Yeah. Last year we raised a little over thirteen thousand dollars for Manatee County Meals on Wheels. Um, that was another his passion. He was on the board of directors for that. Um, but really looking forward to this. Uh, it'll be a fun day. We have the whole range. Uh, nobody else is there except us. Perfect. Nice. Perfect. Well, it's hard to follow that, John. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and I uh, hope to see everybody there.